Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. So you join me in the workshop working on the BSA C15 engine. So on the bench here we've got the crank cases all set up with the crank in and the job is actually done. Um, and the purpose of this video is to show how you calculate the end float or crank clearance as it is in this engine. So the crank doesn't actually float, it's bolted into the left hand bearing but it still needs some clearance. Um, so I'm going to put a page on the screen now. Uh, I've tried to film this about nine times, <laughs> various different ways, and I just can't make it clear or concise. So you'll see some footage of me splitting the cases, putting them back together, doing the measurements and various things, but I'm going to just explain it ad hoc now. So on the screen you'll see this, this page that I've written down, all this scribble. and um, So essentially the tolerance is three to five thou so I've converted that into metric which is 0.0762 to 0.127 I've only done that because my dial gauge is in metric is a metric dial gauge I should say um, each interval on the gauge <coughs> excuse me is 0.01 of a millimeter and I took a base measurement of the cases with the crank in so essentially you have no shimming in there, drop the crank in, put the case together, bolt it up and then measure the end flow. That came out at 0.89 of a millimetre which works out to uh, 35 thou. Um, then what you do, you take that base measurement and you deduct the clearance that you want. That then gives you the shimming you require to get to there. Did that measurement, that came out at 0.784 millimetres. That therefore equates into 30 thou of shimming, or 30.7. Um, fortunately, in the PES kit, you get four shims, I believe, different sizes. There's like a 5 thou, uh, 10, 15, and then a 30 thou. So we took the 30 thou shim, dropped that in, we bolt the cases down, and then re-measure. You should never ever take just, oh, it was a 30 thou clearance I need, put the shim in, bolt it all up, and hope it's all good. You check that you've got free rotation on the crank, and you have actually got the end float that you were expecting. Read on that measurement, um, and that came out at 0.08 millimetres which is actually 3.14 thou of an inch. So we're right at the bottom of the tolerance, but we are good and we are in. Uh, the sec I've just measured it again and it's actually measured out at 0 0.09. So we're on zero and there we are. 0 0.09. Then get to settle back down to zero. There we go, zero. So. That just demonstrates reading the envelope float and that's about it really uh, nice short sharp it's a much longer process than it seems when you just describe it like that because you've got to split the cases put it back in measure double check your measurements scroll down on paper and confuse yourself all those sorts of things but we got there so essentially now we're at a point where we can actually build this engine um, I've got to put the high gear bearing for the gearbox in the right hand case and once that's in we can then RTV this, get the crank cases together and we're well on our way to building the engine and I think we've got pretty much everything in stock now to make that happen so this should move a lot quicker um, so that's it for the C15 engine there's loads of other stuff going on which is why I'm quite delayed um, I'm recommissioning the BSA because we might have some shows for that I'm doing countless hours working on the Tiger for the trip um, if any of you have seen Helmet Head's channel you will have seen that he's now announced the route so um, I'm going to do a separate video on that but get over to his Facebook page the route is there if you want to join us or meet us at any point all the information is there um, and thank you to everybody that has contributed to the Just Giving page. It is mind blowing, but yeah, really appreciate it. 
So the tiger is now in the back garden, kind of hiding over there if you can see it. Managed to get out through the house. Don't think that happened with the tank on. Um, I've got the tank back from Luke. There's a video on him fettling all the scratches and sorting that out. And I've got the pump on the bench here and everything. So the next video will actually be getting the tiger tank put back together. Um, and then we've got a load of electrical work to do on that, that I found. So yeah, plenty coming. C15, Tiger, Triumph Bonneville engine, BSA. Got some more work on the mutt to do. The parts are scattered around here somewhere. So yeah, thank you for watching guys. Really appreciate you listening to me waffle on about all the rubbish I'm getting up to. So yeah, without further ado, click like, subscribe, all the good stuff, as per usual, and uh, take it easy.